how would I describe myself? Um, unserious. I feel like when people say they're funny, they're not funny, so I'm not gonna say that I'm funny, but take of that as you will. Um, got sweaty hands, I need, to get, I need to get my golf glove on. <laughs> my shoes on. I don't know what else I how else I would describe myself. Hard that I'd like to say. I reckon probably can't put that in. Sorry. <laughs> oh, she's running the roof for me. Wait, so you're gonna end up over by our? Well, maybe not that far. But yeah, I'm gonna come in, come out, but I'm gonna give it the. <laughs> There's not many times that I am locked in unless it's sort of like the first minute of a game or maybe like a warm up for, before a game where I'm like super no jokes, no fun. It's proper work time. I really don't do my best when I take stuff too seriously. Obviously, I've said it quite a few times, but there's a fine balance. And over sort of like the last five years, I've had to really figure out what that balance is. And sometimes I still get it wrong occasionally, but yeah, I just really try to enjoy myself as much as possible because what's the point in in doing it if if you don't enjoy it? I've been practicing a couple of snaps. I think I'd be a centre. I asked if they'd have a if I'd be able to switch over and have a job. They said unfortunately no, but I'm not sure the women's CFL is even a thing, is it? Back to me! Yep! Yeah, back to us, yeah, I think there's always a bit of bite in the air when we're playing against New Zealand, but I think it's more wanting to perform to the best of our abilities and um, pushing each other to do that in, in training day in, day out. There's not necessarily a change in how we train, but um, I think everyone's probably aware of the game that's coming and go and put a really good performance out there. I think I definitely know what I'm about. I don't think that I could sit here and say that I'm established and there's so much competition that, but I don't think anyone can ever really say they're fully established and they're there and they're, and they're not leaving sort of thing. When I first came into the setup, being so like completely not fit enough to be there and getting in based off the back of loads of injuries and a bit of luck, going in, realizing how hard you do actually have to work, I think it's, it is a really tough place to get to and, and you do have to mentally be really strong to get there. Being in this setup and playing in this setup is really special because it's really difficult to get in an England shirt. Like that's the long and short of it. So being able to, to put one on and, and play with the unbelievable amount of talent that's around you is, is pretty special. Hey girls, I, I, I love that session. Um, we created a really difficult design for you today, and then you both chose to turn up and really rip into it, and it was really, really unstructured. That's what the weekend's going to be like, and then when we had our opportunities, we pounced. Yeah. And it's going to be no different on the weekend. Right? Cool. This is good. Rose on red! Red! Roses! Ab, do you want to do some of the... I think it's a bit of me, ice hockey, it's a bit violent, so it's um, enjoyable. To be, I think I just went for the scraps, but we only got one, but 
it was fantastic. <laughs> And yeah, it's really special, obviously, doing experiences and, and new things together as a whole group. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been class. It's, it's just enjoyable, isn't it, as well, seeing, seeing different sports and, and getting into it. Little Hanny Botts back in 2017 probably couldn't picture being where she is today. Um, as a player, you've grown phenomenally in terms of your ability, but also what you know and your your rugby prowess. It feels like it's come around a lot sooner than it should have, sort of thing. Like I still feel so inexperienced and so like I have so much to learn. So yeah, it feels a touch uncomfortable to be honest. But a younger me, or even me at 18 when I was eating pasties in a van, wouldn't have ever thought that I would have got to 50 caps, let alone one to be honest. So yeah, a bit surreal. Something which I think is important is, it's not just what you've learned, but it's what you've taught other people. And for me, something that you've taught me is about how to enjoy all the moments, how to enjoy every training session, every week, every camp that you're in, if you can. And those moments, because it's so important, um, and I think that's something that Bots just lights up the room, and I think she spreads that, so it's pretty cool. If you keep doing that, then genuinely, if you want to go from 50, go to 100, go even further. I'm so happy that I'm going to be out there on the third view tomorrow when you, when you get your 50th cap, so uh, welcome to the Big 50 Club, big boy. <laughs> I'm just going to try and enjoy it and if emotions do come then deal with them in however I know I can sort of thing. I think maybe post the game that's when I'll probably reflect on it a bit more and, and sort of take it in. Um, but like I said I've got to get through the warm up already and that's a stress in itself to be honest. So, um, so yeah I'll let, I'll let you know afterwards how, how I'm feeling. Osterbaker's going to bounce out the back here, straight from number eight, powering over the top, stretching, scoring. Knock on. Knock on for New Zealand, so England playing under advantage here. Here's the danger of Kildun, and now down on the edge, gets rid of Holmes, and she's so brilliantly balanced on that edge. Abby Dow, give her one chance, she'll take it. Pressing this New Zealand line, trying to drive and pump those legs. Pick and go again, this time roll into the corner, breach with the finish. Hunt rather gives it away for Aitchison, and now gets some space for Kildun. Acres of space, too much space for a player of utter quality and class. So free, so silky, Ellie Kildun. Got the bit between the teeth, have the New Zealand tight forwards. Now they look to release King for demand. Big wide ball for Letty Yinger. Sticks in the hands of the little winger on the edge. Try New Zealand. Aitchison, quick hands across the line, breach back and field for Kildun. Oh, on the edge, and Ellie Kildun with the finish. Oh, England have come away again here. Heard nice. Look at those quick hands. Oh, lovely. And it's sumptuous from England. The death handling in the middle has Abby Dow oh, in the corner. That is a slick finish, a slick try from the England backs. Holmes again. Kick is charged, and the back sets up. Opportunistic. But you create oh, your own luck, and that is exactly what Natasha Hunt has done. 
ripped it across as Aitchison. And look at the space for Dow. Oh, she's away from Barcola. Ball back in field. Jess Breach is going to finish this again. England's back three are ripping New Zealand apart. Looking to just regain their lead, their advantage they have as Breach. Breach breaches the defence again. Ruby Tui slipped off the tackle. And out it comes now for Scarrett. Oh, kill done. Got stopped. Great read. Paul oh, had to shoot up and make the hit, but the numbers are coming. They'll keep coming around the corner. And in they go again this time. It is Zoe Harrison for England. The final score of the match, England 49, New Zealand 31. We're salmon fishing in the Capilano River. We're currently going past a big load of fish on the bottom, so we're hoping that one of them eats. Is that going? I'm reeling. I'm just reeling. I'm just reeling. Because it's Ella, you don't know how big this fish is. I'm reeling. I'm reeling. He's biting, I've let it go. Girls, that was thrilling. That was unbelievable. You did so wow. well. Wow. That was the exciting. Thrill. You did such oh. a good job. You did like it was just sprung upon you. Oh, wow. Let's go, let's go. Reel it, reel it, reel it. Quick out. Yes, yes. Let's go, Tyrus. Oh, girl. Ella, don't let us down. Let him run if he needs to run. He doesn't need to run. Okay, well, you need to go quicker then. I can't even see the shiny bit yet. Oh my god, Ella, he's massive! Ella, he's massive! He's massive! Oh my god! Yeah. What? Oh he's bigger than you, boy! Yeah, yes, boy! Yeah. He goes, the second he pulls hard, you take your hand off that handle, yeah. okay? Real, 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 real